Okay, so I took a few hours off and I'm back and sure enough, I'm right where I left it. Uh, nothing destroyed my little hauler. So I think we're good to go. So let's continue plunging into the galaxy. Next stop... I believe it was this HR7024, but let me just take a look at the map again. It has been a little bit of time. Are we still navigating properly? No, it switched me back to economical routes. That's not good. No, HR 7024 is just sort of horizontal there. Not in the direction I want to go at all. This one is though. Okay, yeah, F-type star. Yeah, I think this is the one I wanted to go to. All right. So, we've done our exploring in this system. Let us continue. To an F-type system. Okay, our fuel is a little bit low. I thought I had left a lot more fuel here. I think, maybe, uh, I think it drains even when I'm out. So, I'll have to keep an eye on that. It looks like it had been draining. All right, but uh, we can go ahead with this. Frameshift drive charging. Three, two, one, okay, so this should be something to explore. Well, heck, uh, practically everything we encounter now is going to be something to explore. I haven't hit a station in a while, and I assume this is now new territory. want to do some fuel scooping here since I seem to be a bit on the low... Well, I've got more than half, but I might as well do some fuel scooping while I'm here. What kind of a detection will we get with the basic scanner? Fuel scooping. Trying to find a happy medium for my fuel scooping here without going overheating. But just wants to overheat. Quickly take a look at the system map. Uh, there's another star around. Oh, I think that's it right there. Yep, that's... I don't think uh, there's any mistaking that. So we'll head over to the other star. Once we've finished scooping fuel here. Well, anyway, it's a good thing that I'm heading into the weekend here. Because that way I can do some more of this. Okay, well, I think we should be getting pretty close, shouldn't we? Yep, 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 yep. That's the guy. Okay, so case type star, K type star. Seems like I was. Oh, uh, because it refueled the reserve tank. Okay, that's fine. I was wondering why my fuel went down. Alright. Galaxy map. So one F type star down. I think we had another one lined up uh, this direction. Ooh, what about, what about this one? That's more of a horizontal thing. But that is an interesting star, an A8. Yeah, I think I'm willing to go out of my way for an A8. Alright. Let's go there for a bit. And then we'll turn around and head back the proper direction. Okay, to the A8 type star. Okay, slowing down. And what sort of star are you? Let's scan, give it a little pulse. Nothing interesting in the vicinity. While it's scanning, check the system map. 
It's a G-type star. It does have a companion. Let's see if I can spot the companion right away. If I can't, then I'll just uh, head on. Uh, that looks like it. Let me just give it a little pass along the route. Okay. It's probably not not worthwhile, but yeah, this is gonna be one of those that are really far away, and it's not a particularly big star anyway. Let me go on to my A type. We're already going in the wrong direction anyway, so I don't want to take too much time. Let's just head on with this. Okay, Mr. A-Type Star. Interesting there. System map. Blue supergiant, but it's all alone. No planets that we know of, no nothing. Okay, well, it is a supergiant. Looks very big to me. So, galaxy map, since we don't have anything else here. It's just a choice between that. F4. Well, this one is more direct. Let's go for this. Okay. Uh, actually, three systems, but I can deal with that. Alright, let's continue. Okay. Quickly scan this one. Pulse out. Nothing interesting. That's good, actually. I don't want to hang around here. Yeah, alright. Alright, well. Come on. K-type yellow star. Oh darn, the place we want to go to is on the other side of it. Or no, that's not right. I'm targeting it. That's what the problem is. We want to go here. Oh, heat's really going up now. Probably doing some sort of mysterious damage that I don't know about. Okay, so what are you? And what do you have around you? Ooh, pickings are slim around here. Poor little game had a little bit of a hang up there. Um, that's unexplored. Oh, we, we, there's a bigger star that's unexplored. Class A. Huh, I didn't even notice that I had a Class A with it. Okay, so there's a Class A star around here somewhere. You would think that that would be bright enough to spot. But I'm about as good at doing that as... Well, as something I have no experience with at all. Well, no, wait. Th that, that looks promising. Okay, I, I seem to be chasing the wrong star here. At the very least, uh, there is another candidate right to the right over there that looks just as bright. I'm getting pretty fast and pretty far from the other star. And uh, this, this star isn't slowing me down. Wait a minute. Well, there's some sort of signal up here. But that's not a star, that's some sort of ship, is it? Just a contact passing by. 
maybe that does at least previously that does has meant that there's something out here I'm not too sure it does in this case do I dare waste any more time heading in this direction pretty far out already Yeah, yeah. Let me just take a swing around to verify that there isn't any obvious candidate for a A-type star hanging around. That's the star we visited most recently. Looks quite prominent on this line. This is the only real prominent star on the line. Yeah, but it's gonna take a while to get there, I think. Okay, let us proceed. We've already got a course plotted. Alright, let's go there. Okay, let's do some fuel scooping here while it uh, scans the sky. Okay, I think I can leave it be for now. System map. Uh, another two star thing, but I think we've got the bigger of the two here, and that's the more valuable one. So let's see where we would go from here. So we're past the 290 mark, heading out to 300. Looks like this would be a good star. What is this? An F type. Oh, there's a better one here. That's an A type. All right, let's go for the A type. And I'll get us past 310. All right. We should probably get away from this star before trying to activate engines. Fuel scoop disengaged. I don't see any obvious orbit for the other star, but that's only an M type. And I haven't seen any real nice big M types around here. So. All right, here we go. Okay, A-type stars look like A-type stars, and we can explore this one as well. Let's see, hopefully it's got something nearby to explore. Yes, it does. That's good. And how about other stars? Ooh, getting a little bit of glitchiness there. Uh, looks like just two planets. All right. All right, exit, exit, exit. Okay, so uh, that's all nice and explored. Let's go for one of the planets. Neither of the planets look like they were Earth-like, so limited interest here. Perhaps if there's a moon involved, but I didn't see anything like that. Oh, well, this, this thing does have some rings around it. Hold on a sec. A binary planet system? Yeah, I think this is a binary planet system. It's both of the planets in this star system and they're numbered individually, so not a moon, binary planets instead. Okay. Alright, well then that's uh, this place done. 
Just trying to find something interesting. There are interesting stars out there somewhere. That's another A type. I haven't even been to a B type, have I? Of course, they're very rare, but you know. All right. Anyway. Come on. Okay. Up, oh, nothing interesting that ways. System map. Nothing interesting there. All right. Right. I wanted the galaxy map actually, because we need to find somewhere else to go. Uh, okay. Okay, I think it's the smaller the number, the better it is. So, F0 better than F9, for instance. Okay, I think that'll be a fine trip. So, what is call? C O L. When we see C C O L 359, is there. Are we, is that going to change soon at some point? Uh, is there a different sector? I assume so. And I guess that'll be the nice next big thing is to enter a totally new sector where I don't have COL, 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 COL like this. And see something different finally. Right now it's all COL 359 sector and then letters from the rear end of the alphabet. Okay. Oh, four new astronomical objects. Good. Look like planetary distances too. Oh darn! I I probably left this one unexplored. A bit too hasty. Let's take a look at the system map while it's doing that. Yeah, four planets, and uh, one of them's a binary pair. Probably should get a little bit close and get some fuel scooping done. Too fast. Okay, so got that one. Next one is right there. Take a quick sideways glance at this one. Sort of looks like the moon. Except less craters. Have I seen a Saturn like planet yet? I don't think so. No rings yet. Okay. Just gonna fly by this one a little bit close.
I wonder what these other rings around the planet signify. Okay. And with that, we are free to continue on our trek. Let's see. Uh, 355 light years in. Alright, let's go to that one. Gonna burst right by this planet. And punch it. Okay. What type of thing are you? Okay, while it's scanning, I'm gonna pick my next destination. F type star as expected. I want to get to at least 500 before I quit. So let me aim for this guy. Plot root. Then I'll get us close to 400. That's looking like the best bet. Accidental fuel scooping. Uh, okay. All right, punch it. Frameship drive charging. So just continuing along here. Not too sure if it's going to do anything to hurt me. I'd really like the sector to change from COL359 to something else at some point. You know. No, it's like COL359DP-P a whole lot. Granted, I'm going in a relatively straight line, so... I guess that minimizes variations in this sort of thing. I'm sort of in the same slice of the galaxy, I suppose. Okay, galaxy map. Now we're really plunging ahead. Let's just continue. I would really like a B-type star too, but okay. Can't find one of those yet. What are you? You're an F-type as well. Oh, I, I saw a twinkle. Let's go for you instead. Yeah, that's a straight line route. Okay. Huh. Another craft just did a... Because I didn't do that scan. Somebody's like on my tail. It's a little bit creepy. Friendship drive charging. Okay. 
really the main enticement is that the game will eventually give me something I haven't seen before. But I have not detected much of that yet. Now, again, I've only covered a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of ground here. Or space, if you'd like. So, I shouldn't be complaining. Got a lot more work to do in that area. Okay. Oh, again, another sound of a directional scanner, but do I see if somebody else did that? Hmm. Maybe it's just a thing, I don't know. Anyway, I need to hang out here and fuel up a bit. Okay, on we go. Now, it is possible I'm just missing some of the more interesting things about exploring around here. So... Maybe I just have to wait. I didn't pick up all the equipment I should have. Okay. There is... The whole matter of accomplishments here. What the heck? It's a new sector, a pipe bowl sector, as opposed to a COL-359. Okay, well I definitely want to aim for that, the new sector. Let's go. Alright, that, that'll be something. Alright, nice to see that. Is that a little NPC floating by, or is that somebody real? Oh, well, probably an NPC. I can't imagine anybody's going to be interdicting a stupid hauler all the way out here otherwise. And this looks like a very basic interdiction. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. doing their system map. Okay. Well, there is one more star, but it doesn't look like a particularly good one. It's just uh, M6. Alright. Okay, yep, I guess that's enough. Let's just go ahead and head to our new sector. You know what I realized? If I decide to go across this entire galaxy in this hauler, I'd have to come all the way back in order to make money off of all of the exploring I've done. That... <laughs> that's quite a thing to realize. Okay, let's see the system map. Okay, well, that's fine. Then again, it's probably not worth too much. Let's see, where should we go next? We are now 445-ish. That seems awful bright, doesn't it? It's just a G-type star. Well, it's in the right direction. Let's go for it. Yep. Oh, uh... Pipe bowl and pipe stem. 
some weird constellation. No, it can't be a constellation. Constellations don't work that way. I don't want to be f getting too close to this thing. Yep, and I am getting a little bit too close to the thing. But field scooping is fine, we can do field scooping. Let's do some scanning too, though. Red Dwarf. Nothing too interesting around. Red Dwarfs seem to be the easiest to scoop stuff up from. Okay, Hipparchus 87606. Okay, so this is a G-type star. It looked awful bright on the map. But that doesn't seem to be because of the presence of any nearby complications. Ooh, it just looks big. It's just very big. Well, I mean, well look at that. Solar radius, eight, eight times the radius of our sun, even though it's the same type. Same, uh, a little bit lower in mass. Looks like it's expanding, it's like it's about to explode, sort of thing. We're already at 4... 477 or something like that. Well, let's go to this one. Yeah, let's just go for that. Ah, I don't like that location though. But let's just deflect up a little bit and pretend that we're not getting too hot here. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Okay, so waiting till we're at 70% on heat. And then we'll go. Frameshift drive charging. Three, two, one. Okay, this is just a star on our way. I'm not too interested in this one, unless it's got some planets. If it's got some planets, then we're interested. Well, it's got some asteroids, a belt cluster of some kind. At least that we should be able to add to our exploration list. Ten of them! Okay, well, I'm gonna head out to one of those, and oh, there's there's some sort of a system going here. Let me take a look at the system map now. Oh, we've got a Saturn-like planet. Okay, uh, that's that's a change of things. I think that's where I'll park it for the end of this episode. So let me get uh, the asteroids done, and then we'll see about that planet. Okay, there seems to be a lot of stuff clustered around this point, and it might be the the Saturn-like planet. Whatever this is, it sure has an interesting shape to it. Let's see what's closest to us. Let's let's get the planet done first. It can be done from the first out. Okay. That's that moon there. 
Let's take a closer look at this moon. You know, maybe instead of anarchy, just say uninhabited when it's uninhabited. There's a lot of anarchy in this universe. How about that one? Is that a moon of a moon? I mean, uh, it looks tiered. Sort of a... Is that a moon of this moon? Yeah. Wow. So it's not a very uninteresting moon after all. It's got a moon of its own. So this is a moon of a moon of a Saturn-like planet. Okay. Let me just fly by this moon just to give it a peek. And sort of a blue moon, this one. Quite a complicated system this little planet has. Not as complicated as the actual Saturn, of course. It's got rocks all over the place. But it's certainly the most sophisticated planetary system I've seen in a while, maybe altogether. Okay, so let's get a little bit of a better view of this Saturn, Saturn-like planet. From this view, it doesn't look like its rings are particularly anything to write about. But okay. I think I'm gonna make it, make it a pattern to park... park my little spaceship at the end of every episode at the most interesting location we see. If that's possible, I don't know. I don't know if it's possible to find interesting little planets and such in every episode, but this is the first Saturn-like planet. Uh, very close to its star, actually. Um, how far away is its star right now? 441 light seconds. So that's closer than the Earth is to the Sun. So, interesting little place we've got here. So yeah, I'm gonna park it for this episode. We are currently... If we take a look at our galaxy map... We are currently past 490 light years into the galaxy, close to 500. So about a hundredth of the way into the galaxy's center. And one two hundredth of the way across the whole place. Maybe I should just make it to the galaxy center since I'm gonna have to turn back. It's sort of the equivalent distance. Oh, I ended up in a totally different place. Uh, okay, once you zoom out a lot. Oh, that looks like an interesting 700 light years, but I can't plot for it. No, no, not that one. No, 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 I mean, I... oh, forget it. I wanted the big purple thing. Well, I'm so far away from every let let's let's just quickly take a look. Oh, where are we? Sheesh, I was that far off, huh? That one. Ah, that's a B type star. It's it's in the wrong direction and a little bit far away, but that's what I've been looking for. No, I see a blue star there. There's also O-type after B-type, but those are even less likely to be found. Root unavailable. Maybe we'll try for that. If I could only mark it somehow. Can we bookmark this thing? I don't know. 
options. I'd like a bookmark. <laughs> oh well, anyway, uh, maybe we can uh, head for that somehow. I want to get uh, blue type, uh, a B type star in. Yeah, maybe that's where we'll park in the next episode. Though uh, that's a little bit short, uh, even though it's like more than a hundred light years. Okay. Anyway, with on that note and with this beautiful view, I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.